Thank you, and good evening from my side, or good afternoon. Uh, well, being here the whole day and yesterday as well on Open Science event, many questions arise. So I want to share with you the questions now I have and to maybe bring some answers. Thinking about sustainable development for me is maybe to speak about the story about the humanity. Humanity has in this story one side of the society and the other side of technology. So when the humans came to this world, which was completely sustainable in that moment, then we started to take more and more from the nature, to pollute it, to eat it. Then we didn't divide the resources equally, so we decided to get in fight, get in wars, and to make boundaries. So borders about who is where and what belongs to whom. We even agreed and made a law about how it's legally to kill each other and when it is completely fair to kill each other. Then we divided the world in a way that some countries, which happened to have beneath the earth a lot of oil and gas, has all the oil and gas for themselves, basically have the resources and the energy to develop technologically for themselves and sell to the others. While the other countries have trees which give us all oxygen and keep us alive, but they don't get anything for their industrial development. Even more, they cannot cut those trees. They need to keep those trees and getting nothing out of it. So that's the way how we decided to live. That's the way how we organized our society. And that's the problems that we are facing and we are still not getting good answers on this. And I think the basic question is how hungry we are, how hungry and how greedy we are, how much we want that something other, that others have, how we are ready to take from the others, how are we willing to be wealthy because in order that we are wealthy, somebody needs to be poor. So science cannot solve these questions. Those are the questions for arts and literature to make a humans and society on a different way. So from the other side will be our basic needs and our in instincts, impulses, greed on the other side. Maybe organization of arts and literature so we can be better and more conscious and to accept that we can live with what we have and to share with others everything to be and live in peace. So because we cannot live in peace and we agreed that we will not live in peace and we already held the laws how to make a war and how not to live in peace, the only way is to, so, to see the other story about technology. Technology is always progress. So latest technological development are always the best and the one which will come after is better and better. But we saw with the society is different. There is no always development in society. Society in my country where I come from, Serbia, it was Yugoslavia, was maybe better 50 years ago. Most of you, you know that Serbia was the founding country of CERN. Then there was a years that Yugoslavia didn't after that existed and that Serbia now became again fully member, but that doesn't mean that social development is always a progress. On the technological side, we need to see deep into the science and because we cannot be uh, if to feel and be enough with ourselves, then we need as a science and as a scientist and as a ministry to help people and society how to pollute less, how to that technology that was developed for our hunger to eat trees, to eat animals, to eat birds, to eat a living world in ocean, to eat the oxygen, how to find a way that we not pollute it because this story about humanity 
has two ends. We will destroy ourselves or we will survive. We now understand that the only way is to survive is to, by science, find a way how technology can be sustainable and how our behavior will not pollute and make more damage to the nature because the easiest solution for today to save the planet is not to have humans in it. It will solve all the problems in one day. That means that when we see all the sustainable development goals is that we cannot achieve them. Only 15% of them are on track. And then we see more than 30% are moderate and the rest is in regression. We need a pivotal jump. We need a quantum leap. We need a leapfrog different than the linear one that we are now seeing. That means that only by the new ways, with new questions and new answers and the new ways of how we do the things in the society and with technology, we can make this SDG happen. Science, we as a country, as Serbia, thought that is a science. And when you initiated a year of basic science for SDG, we also thought it should be a decade in order to, to achieve this. And thanks to the other countries, which also initiated the resolution in, in, in UN, in United Nations, and supported this, and all the countries that voted in favor of this resolution, today we are here. Today, with all the, the, the guests and prominent uh, speakers as well, we are here and speaking about that science can solve this issue and can help us in this. And uh, we will be ready and supportive as a country for from now to support the secretariat and the organization and everything with our fully support of our diplomatic channels but also with funds necessary in order to organize the planning and execution of the decade and the activities where we can show what science can, can solve so we can save the planet.